friends and welcome back to my kitchen so today i am just going to be making some ch no chicken chicken noodle soup because it is my favorite right now it is summer but it's not even the hot in the pacific northwest it is about 70 degrees right now so it's kind of chilly and i wasn't feeling the best today so what better way to brighten up my day than no chicken chicken noodle soup. So I'm a vegetarian, or I don't eat meat. I do still eat um, meat, no, animal-based products. So I'll still cook with beef bouillon, chicken bouillon, uh, stuff like that. So technically I'm not a vegetarian. I just say it because it's easier to say than pescatarian because I eat fish too, but I don't eat a lot of fish, so. But yeah, it's just really confusing, so I just say vegetarian. <laughs> so, I'm still trying to figure out my camera setup. All I'm using is my phone right now, so, um, and my tripod is kind of a cheap little tripod, and my kitchen is also kind of awkward. I don't really like turning the light on because my neighbors can see me. I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter, but I'm just, I'm awkward in that way. Like, I don't like when people see me recording. We'll just keep that off. <laughs> yeah, I don't really like when people see me recording and talking to my phone. I don't know. I just get weird about it. And yeah, so my kitchen is weird and I can't really get good lighting without the camera being all at a weird angle and but we're we're working with it it's fine so basically I'm just gonna grab all of my ingredients and I don't really follow a certain recipe for chicken noodle soup I with soups I just kind of like to throw everything together and throw the in the seasonings and the veggies and whatever else I might use in that sounds good so with chicken noodle soup with no chicken it's pretty simple and straightforward so i'm gonna grab all my ingredients and try and find a better position to where you guys can see me cutting and stuff so the very first thing i do when i make my chicken noodle soups is I'll cut up an onion and some garlic. And if I have jalapenos, I'll cut up some jalapenos too. And then I will get them all cut up and diced up. And then I will throw them in the pan with some olive oil and I will saute all of those until they are caramelized because it just adds so much more flavor into your soups. I just can't, I can't go back. Ever since I started to saute my onions and my garlic and my peppers and stuff for soups, I can't, I can't do it. I can't go back. <laughs> I can't. Because if I don't do it, then I will actually notice it in the soup and it'll just have like a different flavor. It won't be bad or anything, but it just won't have that same caramelized, you know, flavor to it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and dice up everything and then we're gonna go from there. I have all of my veggies cut up and I'm just going to be putting a little bit of olive oil in the pan and turn this on medium heat, medium heat. And then as soon as that heats up, I'm going to go ahead and put in the onions, garlic, and the jalapenos and let those saute. Okay, so while these are sauteing in here, I am going to cut up 
some carrots to also add into the no chicken chicken noodle soup and I just had to rinse off my cutting board because my skin burns at the sight of peppers so I have to be really careful about that and then I'm just gonna go ahead and cut up some of these carrots also tip for carrots that I have found works amazing to keep them fresh is keeping them in an airtight container with water cold water and sticking them in the fridge i find that that keeps carrots hydrated and fresh for i would say about two weeks i we kind of go through them in that time but it seems like two weeks have been the longest that i've kept carrots in a container and obviously you want to uh switch the water to like putting keep putting fresh water in there so that the carrots can you know sit in fresh water i don't do it as often as i should i probably switch the water out once a week and i've never had any problem with the carrots getting moldy or tasting weird or anything like that so there is just a quick tip for keeping your carrots a little bit more fresh longer. When I saute my onions and my garlic and the pepper, I kind of just want to make sure that it has like a nice caramel glaze to it. I don't like to saute it for too, too long because I don't want it to burn. So maybe, I don't know, a couple minutes. Um, but it already has kind of like that translucent look to it and that that's what we want so i'm just gonna let this sit for a couple more seconds and then i'm gonna add in water for our soup base so i just added some water in here i don't know if you can see it but i don't rinse it or anything i keep i want to keep that olive oil flavor in there because olive oil is amazing in soups so I basically will now just add any kind of seasonings that I want to it. Um, first thing I add is the chicken bouillon cubes. I have all of my seasonings set aside and I don't really have a certain recipe that I go by or measurements or anything. But I will show you all of the seasonings that I have. Maybe I'll show you as I'm putting everything in. So the first thing I put in is this chicken bouillon that I got at Fred Meyer. I, I think the directions on here are add one cube to each eight ounces, which is a cup. I'm not really sure how many cups I have in here. If I were to guess, maybe four three or four, but I like a very strong flavor. So I'll probably put an extra, so maybe four to five cubes. So I'm just gonna add these in here and then let that kind of cook in with the soup and melt down. I'm also going to throw in these carrots in right now because they do take a little bit of time to soften up. I don't think you can really throw any type of veggie in too soon. The longer you have it in the soup cooking, the longer it'll have time to soak up all of the flavor from the broth. One of my favorite things about cooking soup is it is so easy to make. It is one of the first things that I learned or taught myself how to make because it is so easy. You just throw in any seasonings you might feel that would make it good or any types of veggies. And if you end up over salting it, you can always add more water and make it a bigger batch of soup. One of the reasons why I love soup so much is because when you're experimenting with the soup, you have a less likely chance to throw away food. Um, unless if you were to throw something in there that made it taste not so great. 
but if you do end up over salting it and stuff you can always throw in more water to compensate for the saltiness and it is a great way to also get in veggies that you may not like right? eating regularly it looks like all of my salts have melted so let me go ahead and show you what it looks like it looks like so far it looks like all of the chicken broth cubes have melted in with the soup so i'm gonna go ahead and give it a taste and it already smells so good but i have to be careful because the amount of times i have burnt my tongue on trying soup is Insane. So the only thing I have in this soup right now are the onions, garlic, peppers, and carrots, and the chicken bouillon. And it just, it already smells amazing. Mm. Oh, that's really good so far. So I think we have a good amount of chicken in there, so I think four cubes was perfect. And then we're going to go ahead and add anything else that we would want to put in there seasoning wise so i'm going to add some celery seed just a little bit i can't really see pour it on my hand um celery is another great veggie to put in your chicken noodle soups i really don't like the consistency of celery i love the flavor of it but i do not like the consistency of it so that's why i have celery seed i have had leftover celery from a recipe I made it with and I had leftover celery that I didn't want to throw away so I ended up cutting it up and throwing it in the soup and then taking all the celery out because I just really don't like celery but the flavor of it is just it's amazing so I really don't want to just buy celery to cut it up and use the flavor because I don't want to waste the celery um, but next we're gonna throw in some kind of questioning sage but maybe I'll just throw in just a tiny tiny bit of it in here and then I'm also gonna throw in some parsley Well, maybe a lot of it of <laughs> parsley. Parsley is really good and it makes a really great addition to chicken noodle soup. Um, next is rosemary. I think I'm just gonna add just a tiny, tiny bit of rosemary because I find that rosemary has kind of a very strong flavor to it. So I don't wanna add too much of that. And then I like my spicy seasonings. So I'm gonna add a little bit of paprika as well. Oh, that's kind of a lot. That's okay, because I like spicy soup, so. And then next, we're going to add just a tiny bit of basil. I'm just going to stir this in and kind of wait for all those flavors to diffuse. And the last things I'm going to add are some garlic salt and some salt and pepper. I just tried it, and it tastes so good. I didn't have to add any extra of anything. Next, I'm just going to be putting in some salt and pepper. And some pepper. Like a lot of pepper. Salt. I don't really think it needs much more salt. So we're not going to add any more salt. And... The only thing we're waiting on are for the carrots to get to a very soft consistency. And I'm just gonna try one. Oh, perfect. So the last thing we're gonna do is throw in some egg noodles. My favorite thing with chicken noodle soup are egg noodles. It is the best noodle, in my opinion, chicken noodle soup. So, I'm just going to add in. Woo, that might have been too much. Darn it. That's okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to 
what I can do, because I don't really like there to be more noodle than soup. I like more soup than noodle. So what we'll do is we will add more water and then add a little bit more of everything uh, seasoning wise. Okay, so all of the ingredients have been sitting in here cooking and so have the noodles and I think it's basically done. The last thing I am gonna add is a little bit of butter and it kind of gives it that creamy, warm almost flavor. So I'm just gonna kind of grab a little bit of um, butter. I almost got it peanut butter. And then just throw it in there. And the good thing about butter is it melts super fast. So you don't have to wait that long because I don't want to overcook the noodles. And that is basically it for our chicken noodle soup. And here's what it looks like. The noodles do look a little too soft, but that's okay. I will still eat it. <laughs> But it looks so good. So that is basically all that I have for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you... Yeah, I hope you enjoyed hanging out in the kitchen with me again. And I really appreciate you taking time out of your day and watching all the way through. If you watched all the way through. Thank you so much. That means a lot to me. And yeah, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I'll see you next time.